Hello all, welcome to my channel. Now in this video, I will show you how to write a database system trigger in Oracle, which stores the log on and log off information of every user in the database. So first of all, you should know that the database trigger must be defined by the DBA. So first of all, you need to connect with the DBA credential. So let me show here user. My user is a sys. So you need to connect with the DBA login. So now my current login is a sys as sys DBA. Now I want to create the table first. So I'm just creating the table over here. That is a create table. And here you can provide the name of the table. I'm just giving the name of my table is log trig table. And here you can provide the column name. So my first column name is user ID, which have the size that is work at 2 and 15. I want to store the log date. So that is log date type is date. And I want to store the action that can be either logging on or log off. So I'm writing here that is work at 2, 10. So this is the table where I want to store the information of the user. You can just copy all this statement and you can paste over here in PLSQL and you will get the message table is created. Now I want to store the information over here in this table whenever user logging on or log off. So for that you need to write the system trigger. So I'm just creating the trigger over here that is create or replace a trigger and you can write the name of the trigger. I'm just writing the name of trigger is log on trick after log on on database so if you want to track the activity of particular user you can use the schema trigger and if you want to track the activity of every user you can write the database trigger so i'm writing here after log on on database begin and and here you can write the insert statement that is insert into log trig table and you can just write the values so now my values is what that is the name of the user so that you can retrieve using the user and I want the date. So I'm writing here that is a sys date and here you can write the action that is logging on and here you can write commit. So that record will be saved. So this is a one trigger which stores the information of log on. You can just copy all this statement and you can paste over here in PLSQL and you will get the message trigger is created. So now our logon trigger is created. Now I want to create the trigger for log off. So for that you need to write the same code. The change is what instead of after log on, we need to track that before log off. So before log off on database, I want to store the data. So I'm writing here that is logging off. So this is the another trigger. And let me change the name of the trigger that is log off trick. You can just copy all this statement and you can paste over here in PLSQL and you will get the message trigger is created. So now our two trigger is ready. Now you can check your data that is a select star from log trig table and you will be able to see that there are no records available over here. Now try to log on with the squat or HR. So now I'm just starting another command prompt over here and I'm just writing here that is SQL plus. Let me connect with the squat and the password is a tiger and now check over here. You will get the result. Squat is logging on into the database on 5th October. Not only this, you can connect with the another user. For example, you can write here connect HR HR. So HR is connected over here. Now you can check the data. You will be able to see that HR and Sysman both are logging on over here. So this is the way you can track the activity of every user and that is the logging on and log off information of every user and that you can do using the log on trigger and log off trigger so this is the way you can implement the log on trigger and log off trigger in oracle so that's it from my side if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you very much have a nice day